Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Kylie Lip Kits. I'm doing the review on the mini liquid lipsticks and I'm so excited. Of course I'm a fan of Kylie Jenner. I love her fashion, I love her makeup, I love how she wears wigs. I think that she's a really great beauty influencer. I think it's amazing what she has done for the age of 18. She's going to be turning 19 soon, so I think it is so crazy and it's really inspiring for me because I'm someone that's young and I want to start my own business. I think she's a really strong and powerful young businesswoman in the making and I think that she's really a great influence to young women like me myself. So I was so excited to get the mini matte lips. I wanted to try all these colors but I just never like really plunged and got them again so I'm really excited because now I have like little I guess you could say like testers and then it comes with a little note from Kylie which is so cute I think it's really awesome that she has these little personalized notes and then of course this is like so crazy it's like pretty much a gold bar like so this packaging I think is really nice um, it's really sleek simple but very to like you know that gold King K look you know so it comes with six different matte liquid lips and a, one of her new ones so that was really cool so it comes with exposed Dolce K Coco K Candy K Kristen and then Leo which is her new shade Alright, so it comes with six different shades. I'm going to swatch them on my arm and on my lips so you can see what it looks like. So the first color we have is Exposed. Exposed is described as a warm mid-tone beige. So let's see if it's a mid-tone beige. a warm mid-tone beige color I think it looks pretty good on camera um, in person I kind of like it too when you first apply it it looks really orange like I was kind of scared because I was like "Ooh, this looks really orange but I'm starting to really like it and I didn't think I was gonna like this one either other than that I think it I mean it, it looks pretty good it's cracking a little but other like I think that the um formula of it, it's pretty good. So they do take a while to get off, I will tell you that. The formula is really true when it says that it's extremely long lasting. So what I suggest to do is go and get a coconut oil, some kind of organic coconut oil um, that helps get off any makeup. Actually, you can do the whole entire face, you can take it off with everything. So all those stubborn liquid lips, if you like swatch them and stuff in stores, go and pick up some coconut oil and uh, takes it right off. <laughs> so next we have Dolce K, which was another one I was really excited to try as well. This is one of the, I think I believe one of the originals. And it is described as a deep beige nude color. So So I don't have a lot of brown lipsticks and I was really excited to try Dolce K because it is a deep beige color. So here's Dolce K. Alright, so and that is Dolce K and I think that it's really nice. Um, this one even feels a little bit better than Exposed. So I'm really happy I can experiment with this color a little bit more. Uh, we can't wait to be wearing it. I know that this is a really popular one. I know Kylie loves it, so I'm really, I'm really happy about this one. So next we have Coco K, and once again, real excited. Uh, this one's named after Chloe, I believe, Chloe uh, Kardashian, and it's described as a pale pink. Alright, so this is Coco K. So 
So it is drying a lot lighter. When I put this on, once again, the color comes out really dark and I was like, ooh, this is not pale pink. <laughs> But as it's like drying and developing more, I can see where they say that it's a pale pink. So, I mean, technically, yes, this would be considered a pale pink, but I think this is more of like a medium rose color. The, I really love this color, and what's cool about it is that my friend Erica has this color, and she loves it. She wears it like all the time. And she has the So Cute Gloss, I believe it's So Cute, and she wears it over it, and it's a really nice combination. Alright, so that is Coco K. Really love this color, like really love it. All right, so next we have Candy K, another one that was a very anticipated color to use. So Candy K is described as a warm pinky nude. Very, uh, I don't wanna say excited because I've been saying excited this whole entire video, but. <laughs> so Candy K is the color that I've been like dying to try since it came out as well. This is another one that like, I just never really pushed myself to go and buy. Oh, by the way, I put my hair back because I was getting, like, really hot. Oh, I love this color. Mmm. So this color is a really nice, warm, pinky nude color that uh, she created. I think this is a really great everyday color, and it's really appropriate to wear to work as well. Um... I think this this one's a this one's a winner. So this lip color is a color that I would describe as a color that looks as close to your natural lip color as possible. Um, that's why I think it's so appropriate to wear to work and stuff. That's like the way that you roll, you know. This is really nice because all of these formulas are very lightweight. I don't feel like I'm wearing a lip a lipstick or a lip mat. Like it doesn't feel like clunky or cakey or anything like that. So this is Candy K. So the next color is Kristen. Very, very excited to try this one out. Especially since my mom's name is Kristen. I was like, oh my god, I should get you the Kristen Kylie lip kit and everything. That would be so funny. But um, I know this is named after Kylie's mother. So when I look at it in the bottle, it kind of looks like a little bit of a like reddish, bricky color. They describe this color as a warm brown berry, which I guess, um, I mean, yeah, I guess I would say it's warm brown berry. Uh, it looks more red to me than a berry color would look to me. Let's try it on. this lip. Um, I'm not really used to wearing red lips all the time. I would love to wear red lipstick every single day, but I feel like I would just look like a clown every single day um, if I wore that. So, <laughs> This is a really bold color that I would love to wear on a night out if I was going out with my friends and stuff like that, you know. I think that it looks really nice. I think it complements my skin really well as well. Really well as well, Liz, really. So this is Kristen. So I really wanted to try Kristen and Malibu because those are like the two newest shades other than Leo and Lord and the other one I feel with uh, Pump. Poppin, poppin, right? Um, but <laughs> poppin. So I'm really excited that she included this one in the liquid lipstick minis. I think that's really nice because if we didn't have this color, I would want to have like Court K or something like that in, or even like one of the blue ones. So this is a color that I would definitely purchase the lip liner with. With all reds, I usually use lip liners to line my lips so I can get it perfect. Uh, did I get it perfect now? Not so much. But that's besides the point. Yeah, I'm really loving this one. Alright, so last but not least, and much anticipated, we have Leo. 
So Leo is described as a true deep burgundy color and I can definitely see where they're going with this. Okay, so I really love my purples and my burgundies and everything like that. Uh, so I hope that I really love this one because <laughs> it's gonna be really sad if I don't. But it's also limited edition so, you know, eh. Oh yeah, a uh, sock, a sock. Alright, so this is Leo. Mm -hmm. So Leo is definitely a true deep burgundy color. I love this. This looks like wine mixed with blood and everything in between that. <laughs> it's like a really weird mixture. But I love how each lip really transformed my makeup into like this is so vampy and like so sultry and like ooh, you know? Alright, so this is Leo. So the only thing that I find wrong with this one is that it is extremely patchy. Like, I have light colors down here, and then a dark color right here, and over here. And I don't know if it's still drying or not, but I know this is just a limited edition color, so they really wanted to like bang it out there. I know different pigments of the different colors take, you know, a little bit more processing to do, because I know hard, like the hard colors are the dark colors to really get there and, you know, get that matte all over finish. Um, that's my only complaint about it. It's a little sticky as well. But I do love the color. Um, I wish it wasn't so uh, patchy, but you know what? I know the heart, those are the hard colors to really get um, even. I believe that somebody else said that theirs was patchy as well, so maybe it was just like the batch. I don't know. Let me know down below what you think. Um, is Leo really patchy for you too, or no? Yes, no, maybe so. Alright, so that is all from the Kylie Mini Mats. Overall, I think that they did a really good job, especially since there's only like 0.2 fluid ounces in the bottles. Compared to one of the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipsticks, this has 0.11 fluid ounces and these have 0.2. So I guess if you think about it, there are six. So if you like multiply that, it's like there's like 12 fluid ounces. <laughs> but technically no, you know? Overall, I'm really happy that I bought this because it got to test out a few more colors and if I like them, then I can just go and buy like the full version of them, um, which is, you know, pretty good. It's like a sampler, you know? So I'm going to be doing one more swatch because I said I would do Posey K as well, even though it's not in the limited edition. I can tell you right now, I love this color and I love um, everything about it. Um, it's just one of my favorites. I really like the color because I think it looks good with green eyes. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds like really weird, but it has that like purple mauve color as well, so I think that it looks really nice. So this is Posey K. No pun intended, get it? Because I'm posing, ha. Huh. So this one has to be my favorite color. It was my first color that I got from the Kylie Lip Kits, but it is my favorite, and even after trying all these ones, I think that it's just like that perfect, everyday, girly pink color. Um, I, I'm obsessed. All right, so that was my review. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think down below, and tell me what your favorite color is from this wonderful kit right here. So if you like this video, let me know and don't forget to subscribe. The button I believe is down over here or you can just click over here. Um, I will have like a floating subscribe button if you would like to see more of these videos. Before you leave, don't forget to follow me on all my social media links. It's at Elizabeth Hope for just about everything that I like have. I own that name right there. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!